friends, it's Christy. Welcome to day 10 of my 2018 holiday card series. Today is going to be a little bit of a different video since there will be no coloring of any kind. I'm actually going to be working with Lawn Fawn's Gingerbread Friends die set and I'll be putting together some really cute little gingerbread men. So I die cut a bunch of the gingerbread men out of craft card stock and then I've got some accessories in some different primary shades and then there's also some aqua and a lighter green. And now I'm going to take the three main gingerbread men that I'm actually going to be making both a card and some tags. So these three are for the card and I'm going to add the little faces and tape those into place and die cut them out. For these three gingerbread men, or actually it's two gingerbread men and a gingerbread lady, I'm going to take some scrap brown cardstock and glue that into place behind their faces with the Lawn Fawn glue tube, just so it stands out much better. And there you can see how that's going to look. The other three gingerbread men are going to be Christmas tags that you could attach to gifts. So I die cut those out of some dark brown cardstock as well as the craft. And now I'm taking my scoreboard and I'm just doing a little score line right at the top of their heads so that I can make a fold mark. And then I'll bend that backwards. So I'm going to do all three of those and then I'm going to add a real thin piece of score tape. I'm using the eighth of an inch score tape. And I will add that right above the score line. Then I can grab my craft version of the gingerbread man and line that up and adhere those together to form a tag that folds open and you can write a message on the inside. So going back to the first three gingerbread men that will be going on the card, I'm going to start decorating those with all the little die cut pieces that I have. A couple of them have some little um, things that need popped out of the holes just so that they um, have all that little detail and uh, I'll start to adhere those using the glue tube. I like this glue pen for this kind of project because it has a very thin nozzle and you're able to get out a very minimal amount of glue and hopefully not have it go everywhere. Also, just because these pieces are so small and fiddly, I'm going to be using my reverse tweezers from EK Success. I don't use these often, but for tiny little projects like these, it's a good thing to have on hand. So there's lots of fun little options here with this set. Um, there are two styles of hair, which can also be flipped in different directions, which you will see later on with my tags, so you can get some really different looks. There's also this little bow that can be a hair bow or a bow tie, depending on how you want to use it. There are three styles of buttons. There are circles, hearts, and ovals that could go either horizontally or vertically. There's all different kinds of rickrack and just lots of fun things to mix and match. I actually had so much fun playing with these guys. It brought me back to my childhood when I used to love to play with paper dolls as a small child. In fact, I would often even design my own outfits for my paper dolls. So I would take the ones that came in the set and then I would um, copy them onto paper and change up some things and color it with my Crayola crayons and then cut them out and... Uh, yeah, it was a blast that I really loved doing and I'd kind of forgotten about completely until I started playing with these and it brought it all back. So that was really fun. I had a great time. So even this little loopy swirl, which I used on the gingerbread girl for her apron, I flipped that upside down so that I could use it again on the larger gingerbread man as kind of a belt. So there's lots of different ways to just change this up and really um, just create to your heart's content, honestly. <laughs> There's two different sizes of the Rick Rack that you can add to their hands or feet or all of the above. Um, so there's a little bit of a longer one that fits very well on the larger gingerbread man. And then there's a tiny bit shorter one that works well on the smaller ones. So like for the dad, I went ahead and put it on all of his hands and feet. For the girl, I put it on only her feet. And for the boy, I put it on only the hands just to have something different. 
The three tags I decorated off camera, but I'm going to show them to you now. I also did a little heart on the backs of their bums just for something different. And I will tape these to my gifts. I didn't want to poke a hole in the top of their heads. I also trimmed off the leg on one of the gingerbread men just to have it be a little bit more comical. So for the three that I'm turning into a card, I'm going to take some Versamark ink and stamp out a sentiment onto some red cardstock. And I'm going to treat that with my EK Success powder tool first, and then I'll stamp that down. And I'm using Have a Sweet Christmas from the Sweet Christmas stamp set from Lawn Fawn, which also features gingerbread men. And I'll be white heat embossing that on. Then while I have the Misty out, I'm also going to stamp the inside of my card. I'm using Lawn Fawn's Walnut Ink to stamp out a bunch of the different candy images from the Sweet Christmas stamp set, and then Sending Joy for the Holidays from the Merry Messages stamp set. My card base is a four and a half by four and a half square. And my pattern papers are from the Doodlebug Christmas Town 6x6 pad. So I've trimmed out this largest print with the Lawn Fawn cross stitched square stackables. I'm going to adhere that flat to the card. Then I'm going to take the red and white stripe and adhere that down to the polka dot print. And I'll add some foam tape to the back of that panel. I'm going to line that up in the very center of my card and pop that down into place. I'm going to turn that until the red and white stripes are on a diagonal to resemble peppermint. And then I can grab my gingerbread men and begin to arrange them on the front of the focal panel. So I'm going to add the larger gingerbread man or the dad image right in the center. Then I'll add my sentiment. I'm going to put a little bit of liquid glue in the center and then a little bit of foam tape on either end and slide that up under his feet, making sure not to cover any of the words. Then I'll add my little girl on his left hand side, um, kind of arranged the same way with the feet just hanging over the sentiment a little bit. And then the boy will go on the left. And that is going to complete our card for today. There's another peek at the inside, and then I'll bring in all the little tags as well. So this would work great as a gift set. You could give the card and use the tags on the gifts for a certain family, or you can just split them up and use them individually. I hope you all enjoyed day 10 of my 2018 holiday card series. If you did, please be sure to give the video a thumbs up and you can subscribe to my channel if you haven't done that already. If you'd like to continue watching, here are two videos from day 10 of the previous two years of holiday card series. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you all have an amazing day. Bye bye.